Hello, everyone. Uh, this is the uh, paper two, Pure Maths two, for Edexcel A level uh, maths exam in June 2023. So this is a predicted or a potential paper. Um, so I'll uh, get things started. Question one: A sequence u1, u2, u3 is defined by u1 equals two, un plus one equals un minus two squared, where n is greater than or equal to one. And question A: Find u2, u3, and u4. Question B, write down the value of u1000. Question two, the functions f and g are defined by f of x equals ln 4x minus 1, x is not equal to quarter, and g of x equals to 4 over x minus 1, x is not equal to 1. Find the exact value of f of g of 2. Find an expression for f inverse of x and state its domain. Sketch the graph of y equals modulus of gx. Question three. So the equation giving you answers in exact form, eight e to the y minus six e to the minus y equals 13. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly go over the publications I have done. So I have published this uh, A-level exam book. Uh, it has uh, 15 papers uh, for practice, uh, similar to the one I'm going through. And if you're in year 12, you also have this book, which is for AS level for year 12. And that also has 12 papers. And if you uh, would like to buy any of these books, you could do so using, um, using the um, uh, links below. And also if you'd like to um, uh, hire me as a tutor you can see my tutor profile here and also if you like to book me you could book the lesson through there okay let's get back to the paper okay question four fx equals tan x tan 2x cos 3x work out an approximation for fx when x is small part two hence approximate the value of tan 0.2 cos 0.3 calculate the percentage error in your approximation Question five, given that y is equal to lm x cubed plus one over x squared, find dy dx. Question two, given that x equals to cot y, show that dy dx equals to minus one over one plus x squared. Question six, work out the area of the shaded region. Question seven, the curve C has equation y equals four plus three x minus x squared. Sketch the curve C, clearly showing the points of intersection with the coordinate axis. The point P34 lies on C. The line L is a tangent to the curve at P. Work out the equation of line L. Part three, work out the area enclosed by the curve, the line L and the x-axis. Question eight, a curve has equation y squared minus two xy plus y plus x squared equals seven. Find an expression for dy dx. Find an equation of the normal to the curve at the point p, one minus two. Question nine. The fifth term of a geometric series is 960 and the eighth term is 405. Work out the sum to infinity of the series. Question 10. A curve is given by y equals ax to the b, where a and b are constants. Show that this equation can be written as a straight line in the form log y equals b log x plus log a. Given that the straight line above passes through the points 1 over 1024, 0 and 2, 1. Work out the values of a and b. Find the solution to the differential equation 2x minus 1, 3x plus 2, dy dx equals 7y. Given that the point p, 0, 2, lies on the curve. Give your answer in the form y equals fx. Question 12. The curve C has parametric equations x equals cos 2 theta and y equals sec cubed theta and theta between minus pi over 4 and pi over 4. Find an expression for dy dx in terms of theta. Hence find the exact value of the gradient to C at the point where y equals 8 root 3 over 9. Question 13, 
Use the substitution x equals tan u to show that integral from 0 to root 3 of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx is equal to k pi, where k is a constant to be found. Question 14. The functions f and g are defined by f of x equals 3 minus modulus of 2 minus x and g of x equals 2x minus 3. Sketch the graphs of y equals fx and y equals gx on the same diagram. Hence or otherwise, work out the solution to 2x minus 3 equals 3 minus modulus of 2 minus x. <clears throat> Question 15. fx equals 14 cos x minus 7 sin x, given that f of x equals r cos x plus alpha, where r is greater than 0 and alpha between 0 and 90. Find the value of r as a simplified third and the value of alpha to one decimal place. Hence, solve the equation 14 cos x minus 7 sine x equals 10. For x between 0 and 360, giving your answers to one decimal place. So that's the paper, guys. So good luck uh, with the uh, solutions. Uh, I will be uploading the solutions in a couple of weeks. So if there are any questions, please comment below. And please subscribe and like the video. Thank you.